Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here, and have I got a huge report to share with you, and this one specifically in regards to the Yellowstone area. Now we all know that Yellowstone National Park has one of the largest volcanoes in the known world, a super volcano. And just over this past week, I'm gonna throw up the seismic map on the screen, uh, you could see that a swarm of about 30 earthquakes have struck the area uh, and, and just kind of a lot of seismic activity and they range everywhere. The little purple dots are some of the smaller ones. Those are about uh, a two or less-ish or around a two. And then you see the yellow circle and that's a 4.4 that hit just this past Thursday in the Yellowstone Super Volcano area, the big area there. But this is something that should not be ignored. When we have seismic activity going on in the Yellowstone area, it's something that all uh, it should be reported and broadcast over all these mainstream uh, media news sites. And you're not hearing it everywhere. Some places you are, but a lot you're not. Now, let me show you a story. Fox News actually did report on it, at least online. I don't know about uh, on the television there, but online they have a report titled Northwest Yellowstone Area Sees Earthquake Swarm. Now in this report, they again detail just some of the seismic activity uh, that there's 30 quakes, magnitude two uh, began on Monday and all, went all the way up to a 4.4 there in the area on Thursday. Also, here's another report from Newsmax.com and I wanted to share this because it really gets into the detail of uh, the devastations that can be caused by a super volcano. Uh, super volcanoes like one at Yellowstone could kill millions and hurt the climate. Again, the report goes on to detail that super volcanoes like the caldera at Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming pose a bigger danger to human life than earthquakes or asteroids. Uh, and are essentially a ticking time bomb that are likely to go off any time in the next 80 years. And that Earth is experiencing a volcano season. And they mean right now. Uh, that report is fresh. So is the other one you saw just put out recently. Um, there's also one more that I want to show you. And this one's on zerohedge.com. And it's titled, Scientists Warn Current Yellowstone Quake Swarm Could Rip the Guts out of America. Now that report goes on to detail that Machio Kaku has some pretty shocking information to tell you about some of the activities there uh, in Yellowstone. But let me play the clip so you can hear it for yourself. Michio Kaku joins us now. He's a theoretical physicist, a professor, a best-selling author, a friend, friend, of the bro friend of the program. Give us some context on this, what we're talking about here. Well, forget the image of Yogi Bear representing Yellowstone. We're talking about a sleeping Godzilla underneath Yellowstone that if it erupts in a maximum eruption called Category 8, it can literally tear the guts out of the United States of America. Instead of having 50 states of the Union, we would only have 30 states of the Union. But that's Category 8. This report looked at Category 7, which is much more likely once every thousand years rather than once every million years. That means in every century, there's a 10% chance that somewhere on the planet Earth there could be a super volcanic Category 7 eruption. That's the danger. Wow. So there you have it. I mean, a physicist saying on Fox News, now I'll leave that entire clip below so you can reference it and watch the whole thing in its entirety and I encourage you to do that. Uh, but think about it, it's, it's, it's 20 states that we're talking about being wiped out here. That's huge. Now I'm just going to throw on the screen some of the maps that you'll see online in the event of uh, something happening at Yellowstone. There's a kill zone of so much of an area and then it goes out an ash zone and then another zone from there. But there's multiple maps, uh, to be honest, of, you know, which way the cookie could crumble, if you will, because if Yellowstone were to go off, and, and as you heard the physicists say, every thousand years, there's about a seven point some on quake that hits the area. But he said if it was an eight point quake, then we're looking at 20 states being devastated. If it's a seven point, I mean, that, I mean, that was based off the seven point quake, I believe. But he said every thousand years, that's about what hits the area. And, a, and according to them, we're nearing that or overdue. We're kind of in that period here or grace period. I don't know, call it what you will. Uh, but 
again, we don't know exactly which way the cookie will crumble, so that's why the maps differ. It, it, uh, it's gonna depend on you know the weather, the climate, the wind, all in that day, or what's going on, I guess, could bring up different variables of what happens and who exactly would be impacted there in that area. But all this to say, look, if you're not prepared, get prepared with food storage. Um, be that whoever it is, make sure you have assets to trade with other people. Uh, if you're in, in the livable zone, you're still gonna feel some of that repercussions. Uh, make sure you have things like gold, silver. Um, I use, again, Noble Gold Investments. This is a five ounce coin, uh, but these can be worth some value if, if money goes to, to crap. And in the case of something like, you know, a volcanic activity, this could be something bartered or used, uh, but definitely something you wanna get your hands on at noblegold.com, noblegoldinvestments.com, I'll leave a link. But make sure you are prepared. But here's one last thing I wanna tell you about, and I think this is crucial. Um, now, a while back, a sort of rumor went around, if you will, that the U.S. government had a contingency plan uh, to evacuate people to Brazil, to Australia, and countries like that, saying that uh, there was a study put out that I haven't seen, but there was some kind of study done in which um, they wanted a 10-year plan with other countries to say, hey, in the event that something happens, you know, we want to be able to evacuate people to your country, we'll give you money to do this, and apparently there's some kind of negotiation. Now, I can't confirm or deny that. Uh, I know I've kind of looked it up, but here's what I found that was the closest to it, is a report put out by Prague. Now, Prague is a website uh, straight through South Africa, a South African news source, in which this South African news source, and I'll throw it up on the screen, uh, claim that the US, United States of America, offered them $10 billion if anything happened within 10 years with Yellowstone, uh, basically saying, you know, America offered them um, $10 billion to take refugees from America in the event of something happening there at Yellowstone. Uh, but they actually denied that request because there's too many white people. Uh, they think that would be too much of an influx in their country, no joke. <sighs> whatever that's supposed to mean, I don't know. But that report was put out in April 2014. 10 years from that date would put us at uh, April 2024-ish. So we're still kind of in that 10 year period according to this Prague uh, report, this South African report. Now they denied it, whether or not it's been done with other countries, well, time will tell on that. But either way, again, make sure you're prepared, make sure you know the area you live in, make sure you have a route of attack, if you will. Um, and uh, lots of prayer. If you don't know Jesus, get right with Jesus in case it is the time. But no one really knows. Uh, that's like predicting tomorrow there's gonna be something uh, at five o'clock. Nobody knows the day or the hour of anything. Uh, it could not go off for a hundred years or 200 years or a thousand years. Nobody really knows. Uh, just to make that disclaimer there, but either way, my point and my job is to show you that scientists are warning and that there are and is seismic activity happening in the area right now, right this week, and I'm gonna bring it to you. That's what I do. Anyhow, wanted to bring you the latest on all of that. If you like what you heard, subscribe, share it on all your social media outlets, and give me a big fat thumbs up. All right, I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.